What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to face off the best three kinetic auto rifles in the game. The Scaphalock, the Ghost Primus and the Origin Story. Uh, today I'm going to hopefully tell you guys which you should be using within PvP. But before we go any further guys, do you want to win some juicy loot? I've got emblem cards, I've got sparrow cards, I've got gift cards, I've got much more. To win some, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server, linked within that video description. Okay, so these three auto rifles are the ones always put forward to me when talking about great kinetic auto rifles. If I'm talking about the Ghost Primus, people mention the other two and vice versa. Today, we're going to take an in-depth look at all three weapons. I will give you guys my honest opinion on all three of these weapons and then tell you guys which you should be using within PvP. So the first weapon we're going to take a look at is the Scaife Lock, a weapon which has been around since the beta, a weapon which was great back then and is great now, but it does have a few downsides. But before we talk about them, let's first check out its perks. It has Under Pressure, High Calibre Rounds or Tactical Mag, and IS-5 Circle, Model 8 Red, or Mark 10 Glass. So it does have a decent load out of perks for sure, but how does it perform within PvP? On screen now you're witnessing a little footage of me using this while we check out its in-depth stats. So its rate of fire is 600 rounds per minute, meaning it will shoot 10 bullets per second. Damage to the body will do 13, damage to the head it will do 17. That equals out as in damage per second to the body is 130, and damage per second to the head is 170. Time to kill, if you can land all headshots, is 1.05 seconds, which is pretty difficult, we'll come to that in a few seconds. It will empty its entire clip in 4.5 seconds. Its reload time is 1.24 seconds. Its ADS time is 0.08 seconds. Its recoil direction, as we can see on screen now, it fires up and to the right. This weapon also suffers with quite a bad bounce too and it makes it real hard of hitting targets at a range even with maximum control over that recoil. The problem I had with this which I didn't have with the other weapons in question today was controlling it at range. Not due to its recoil but it's due to the annoying bounce this weapon seems to have. I was constantly being outgunned by weapons which really shouldn't be doing so. Without that this is a monstrous of a weapon at close to semi mid range but anything after that is a risk for sure. It's time to kill seems pretty quick, but landing all headshots on a moving target while trying to control that bounce is a pretty difficult thing to do. Props to you if this is your weapon of choice. Okay, so we're going to move on and take a look at the Ghost Primus. This one being of the same archetype of autos as the Scaife Lock, but in my opinion is a much better choice in use in almost every instance. So this weapon drops from the raid, if you didn't know, the Leviathan raid has a chance of dropping this Ghost Primus auto rifle. So perks we can see has under pressure, it has high impact rounds, and it also has ambitious assassin, as well as arrowhead break, corkscrew rifling, and fluted barrel. So again, a decent choice of perks here. On screen now we've seen a little gameplay from me, where we check out its stats. Same as the Scaife Lock, it fires 600 rounds per minute, that's 10 bullets per second. Damage to the body is 13, damage to the head is 17, damage per second to the body is 130, damage per second to the head is 170. It's time to kill is the same, if you land all headshots, it will kill somebody in 1.05 seconds. It will empty its entire clip in 4.13 seconds. Reload time is 1.04 seconds, ADS time is 0.06 seconds, so it's pretty quick. Its recoil direction, as we can see on screen now, is quite dramatic. It raises vertically and doesn't stop until the clip is empty. The under pressure perk does help a little, just in my opinion, not enough. I will say, however, this being as the same archetype as the Scaife Lock, it is much easier to control. It just feels a lot easier, a lot snappier, and a lot more rewarding. I was also definitely hitting enemies and felt comfortable in doing so at a range. Not a massive distance but definitely further than what's possible in my opinion with the Scaife Lock. With the Scaife Lock I was opting out of distance battles just because of that bounce. This doesn't have a bounce quite as bad making it in my opinion the better overall weapon to control and by far the best in this archetype so far. Okay so next up we're going to take a look at the origin story. This not being of the same archetype of the previous two auto rifles, this shoots slower but deals more damage per bullet. So perks on the origin story, we have Rampage, this adds 1 damage per kill, stacked 3 times. We have Appended Mag and Flared Magwell. We have Hitmark IS, Red Dot 2 MOA and Red Dot Micro. 
On screen now we can see me using this within PvP where we'll check out its in-depth stats. Its rate of fire is 450 rounds per minute, so that's 7.5 bullets per second. So every 2 seconds we'll see that extra bullet come into play. Damage per body shot is 16 and damage per headshot is 23. Damage per second to the body is 120 and damage per second to the head is 172.5. Time to kill is 1.23 seconds. The rampage perk like I said adds 1 damage and stacks 3 times so it's fastest possible time to kill with Rampage active is 1.02 seconds. It will empty its entire clip in 4.24 seconds, its reload time is 1.07 seconds, its ADS time is 0.07 seconds and its recoil direction as we can see on screen now, it raises up and kind of drifts left and right but this weapon's recoil is easily controllable. The origin story is truly a monster, it's great at close range, it's great at mid range and it's even quite distant at a long range. On some instances you will even outgun people using scouts, won't happen often but it will happen. Which, to be honest, should not be the case. Because of its slower rate of fire and more damage per bullet, it definitely, in my opinion, is the better of the three auto rifles. Much easier to control, feels way more snappy, the handling feels great, and to be honest, it packs a brutal punch. The Origin Story is definitely one of the best auto rifles in the game, and this archetype of auto rifles, in my opinion, is where it's at. There's a rare blue weapon you may have come across called the Cuboid that shares the same archetype as the Origin Story and was actually the first weapon I ever got a wee ran out of medals medal with, which is quite an achievement within itself. So definitely this archetype of autos does outdo others for sure. The Origin Story is also available for all to obtain via the campaign. Complete that and then do a couple of strikes and then Savala will offer it to you. The other two weapons from today's video drop based on RNG which we know rewards some but not others, me being another. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. Today's best weapon is no doubt the Origin Story. In second place I'd give it to Ghost Primus and third we have the Scafe Lock. But all are great weapons in their own instance. It's just the Origin Story in my opinion is definitely the best of the bunch but guys i hope you enjoyed the video if so leaving a like really does help me out if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe if you never want to miss a video i upload hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when i do upload but thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand